Hello everybody, this is Akasha Anne Marie. It is almost 7 pm. It's dark outside. Today is the 15th of November. I got so many gifts in the last two days, so and the idea is now to share with you an interview which was done with me in 2015 from Australia Australia and Hungary as that time I was not in Europe and I just want to share with you this interview experience in this new kind of way so I put here now my other laptop in front of this camera and you can listen to this interview together with my friend Stella Enjoy. The time I see that Anna Marie arrived, and um, let me bring you up if I'm good at this. <laughs> and maybe you would need some light, Anna Marie. Do you have some light? <coughs> okay. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. We could have more. But anyway, whatever, if you have something that's stronger, that would be more visible. Oh, that will be better. That will be better. Much better. Better. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Anna Marie. Hi, Stella. I know it's early over there, so how are you feeling? <laughs> I, I woke up recently, so... <laughs> okay, so uh, I was uh, uh, telling about my experiences until you arrived, but um, now we would like to start with you. And I um, actually, maybe before that, so until you warm up a little bit, uh, yes. I just want to tell uh, our viewers that uh, basically when I put up the, the post about having uh, and launching the Star City TV, uh, a few days later you wrote to me and said, yeah. you know, after almost two years we did not speak or I don't know when it was. No, it really. One year ago. One year ago. And, um, and then you uh, actually asked me if you know if I want to do that interview because I already made the electronic flyer back then and uh, it was so funny because it felt like a, a synchronicity in that sense uh, because when I put up my post uh, you know like uh, maybe five six days ago uh, before that um, I had not any idea you know what's gonna be the first one but basically, you know, it, it was my, always my dream to interview star seeds and people who went through their experiences. So uh, here we are, and this was the, this is the time when it had to be realized. So you know, it's just time for us to share. <laughs> so uh, uh, can you tell me about your, um, let's say your, if if you can remember your activation your first time or anything that in that sense uh, now that you're looking back uh, you can say it was very significant and it, it was really surprising even to you but the strongest the most intense uh, that you can remember yeah the most strongest and intense activation I had in 2008 the 20th of April and um, it happened on my terrace while I was lying under the sun and upon, after 10 minutes I had a kind of uh, so-called near-death experience but it is, it is not the right um, term for that that I went through but I mean at least I knew that it was, it was an activation directly from the sun this is called Akadwa this is the strongest energy, vital energy that you can get and indeed after that I had a kind of walk-in because I changed my voice and such a great power came through me and I was there with my ex-boyfriend and I could see myself um, 
in another shape. My body changed completely shape. And yeah, afterwards I was for 24 hours in that kind of state. I couldn't sleep. I was so activated and I did a lot of commitment. And I remember that I was living at that time in Italy and it was commitment against the church, the Pope and everything because I definitely saw how much this um, this kind of religion was screwed up. So I, I went in and even I had the possibility to travel in a certain way um, and I was completely conscious in the Vatican, etc, etc. And I did also their great work. So on and so on, but this was the greatest activation I had at that time, and in, indeed, it messed up um, my life mm. in, a, in a different way, at least because, um, I mean, physically, even my voice, my, my vocal cords were so messed up afterwards that I couldn't even talk normally, mm -hmm. and, um, and I was always sitting like, you know, I was in a kind of state that what I, I mean, I, I was unable to do anything at that time and it lasted very long because I was always at that time so connected and at that time I was working together with a woman in, in Switzerland. By the way, she was she connected me uh, in a session with the ETs and the ships the very first time and she could see that I was connected with, um, with spaceships and stuff like that and so and they started working on me. They already did it before but then it became really, really clear. So I went to the ship and etc. etc. And then in 2000, um, 2011, the, from no, 2009 to 2010, uh, for Christmas, Christmas Eve, I had another activation. They took me on the ship and they opened up all my spine. Mm -hmm. And they made it like, uh, like this with light. And I mean, afterwards, I was mm, for three months that I couldn't move my body, I was completely break down. So, but I asked for that because I remember I, I had big sensation. You, you, I didn't even um, celebrate Christmas for so long, so for so many times. But then I got the intuition to make a uh, Christmas tree, <laughs> and uh, so I. And then I made a little, little bit, I a small party together with my dog, and I, I made a letter. So I asked for the activation for my DNA, and I got it the same night. Mm hmm So why well, you know, just ask and you shall receive, right? <laughs> yes. 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 And this was this was the funny thing that I mean, it was a lot of hardship going through in this activation process because I mean as far as I remember it was always very hard being here. I always felt like not be part of this world and now I know why, because I always felt so different and so alien to everything. But then, as it, in this period, it came so clear, it was so clear, and then, of course, indeed, I mean, when they took me to the ships, and I had there, like, a kind of, um, how do you say, teaching, and um, I was there in complete consciousness when I went, and I, I came back, uh, then to get in my body again, and uh, so I had um, vivid memories, because I was going through this in complete awakened and conscious state, because even, even physically, I always could feel myself there, I mean, and um, okay, now I lost, I lost the point. That's okay, this, this is absolutely normal. So, yeah, so many, yeah, because now talking about that, um, so many things happened simultaneously, it was really, I mean, I, I was in this house in Tuscany, where I get in um, 12 years ago, and then everything started there. Mm -hmm. Everything started in that house. I mean, it was really awesome, and um, so I had a lot of fun and a lot of hardship, of course. And um, fortunately, in one way and the other, I could go ahead because I had all also sessions that I could give to other people, and so it was always up and down, up and down, and still mm -hmm. I survived and, and I had a great time. <laughs> I know, but you also had that time uh, when you were really. Um, in, in seclusion, it was kind of like you, you you were living a lot alone. Did you have those mm. periods when really like you know just completely out of the out of the the external world? It's just different. Everything is yeah. Different. 
that is true because but at that time I choose it by myself because um, I choose the place in the countryside and there were only five seven houses or not five seven houses so I was completely isolated and uh, this was but this I wanted in my inner voice told me this is the right time to isolate. Because I didn't couldn't even want to, to live in the cities, etc., etc., and and so this was the best place, and I felt very comfortable. Mm -hmm. At least I mean I recognized that I am alone, and I couldn't even share with nobody nothing about that. Uh, besides my parents, my parents I have to say they are 80 years old. They were so open, and I could share everything with them, everything. You the see that is that them. is so different because a lot of uh, people who I talk to or uh, yes. star seeds, they have nobody to talk to. A lot of them, I mean, that was just, this is just amazing, uh, amazing support when you can get that from your parents, because usually they don't. Yeah, well, they, I could I could talk to them because I am so, ex I mean, I have always the external what I'm going through, so at least my parents were there, and they didn't judge me. They didn't, they didn't understand it completely because nobody can understand, understand oh, yeah, that. Of course. You, know, you go through it, so all my parents, or even another staff, it cannot understand that. So, but at least it wasn't before that I didn't have to hide, you know. I mean, I could lead my life, and at least with my parents, I could share. And even with the people, I I started sharing my stuff, if they wanted or not. And this was a good thing. Somebody scared, and he didn't want to have any contact with me. Okay, that was fine, because I felt it inside. I mean, why should I take everything inside? Because it's, I mean, I always felt that it's important to share, because what I was going through, maybe, somebody else is going through in another way, maybe not so consciousness as me, but a lot of people are living strange things if you if you trigger them. And that is what I noticed even even in, in my sessions, I mean there came up so many many stuff that people, yeah, you know, and I made this experience and that because they they felt that they can trust me and so they come up with their story. Because the first mm -hmm. time they felt they felt not so alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had I had also people who were uh, they told me oh uh, this happened to me like 15 years ago like an an, an older lady was like in her uh, I would say like 70 between 70 and 80 and uh, and and she said you know I never told this story to nobody but they were they came and they were healing me they touched my belly and and I had problems with that and afterwards I did not have any problem and and so she said I never told this to anybody I said you see you just this is the time this is the place and now you just and, and she said I, I never even wanted to I don't even know why I opened up but this is exactly like they just you know subconsciously they know who they can talk to and and that's it because you know they know they feel it that's how put it this way. They feel it that the other person is, um, you know, can receive that uh, information, or or they they would understand because they yeah. just know. That's yeah. that's wonderful because it just feels so good to them, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I I remember now. Now, by the way, uh, 2013, I had problems. Um, I had to call a plumber, and it was on Christmas. <laughs> and this, you know, it was funny because this this guy came to my house, and unexpected, he said, "Yeah, you know, I have to show you some pictures." Mm -hmm. So he took a picture. He showed me pictures. What happened? And it was a funny thing because I, at that time, I was there in Florence with Cobra for the ion portal activation. Oh. And he took the, and he, no, you see, it's synchronicity. By the way, we yes. are. And so this guy shows me pictures with an awesome light spot upon wow. Florence at the place called Pietro Michelangelo. When well, I was there with a friend because I was not participating in the movie because I couldn't take my dog with me. So we went on this on this square Michelangelo, and he took pictures because he was driving from one time to the other, and he got so attracted from this light photo, he stopped, took his mobile, and took mm. his photos. So this guy now coming to me for a problem, he showed me that picture. I said, no, this is really unbelievable. Can you send me this picture? 
And then he told me about his experience. He came originally from Sicily when he was a child. He already had experience with the ET. Mm-hmm. So the English ships, etc. And then he said, but you know the problem is, I can't talk to nobody because they think I'm mad. I said, yeah, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. I'm so happy that you share that with me. Of so, course. This is the whole point of these conversations that exactly people start to share and that they open up and it's not like that we're hiding uh, in behind something that oh just because we don't want that people do not uh, judge us or or uh, or say that we are crazy i mean besides eventually you're gonna uh, release that anyway you know that you don't care what people think in that sense who are on a different level of consciousness and it's not about uh, be our level of consciousness being brighter or or, or or less validation or more validation. It is just a different level. We remember more than they do and then eventually they will remember what we remember <laughs> because it's, it's right. stored in our DNA. I mean, those are the things. It's in everybody's DNA. It's present. Yeah. But until they right. reach a certain level of consciousness, they cannot access the memories because they are not ready. Right. Right. So absolutely, that is the that is the case. And eventually, I was uh, uh, at some place once, and I was talking about the the uh, sounds and the sound codes and sound frequencies. You know, the language of light and other stuff. And I have a lot of those activations on my phone. And you know, she was very interested in in the codes, and I had some symbols with me. And um, and then she wanted to listen to a few or something could I show her some and so I had a recording of three different languages like uh, uh, you know uh, you know one person who was an Arcturian channeler and the other was from Lyra and the other from Orion and so the three languages uh, were in one uh, shot and so when she when she heard it she said Oh my God, this is so scary to me. I don't know. This is scary. This is wrong. I said, no, it's not wrong. It's just you just you just cannot uh, receive it yet because it's just, you know, you have too much yeah. fear. Your fear yeah. is there. So when you fear something, you, have, you don't have to have it yet. It's basically, okay, it's fine. It's not your stuff yet. But one yeah. day it will be. You know, so yeah. maybe yeah. you will even be speaking the language. There will be even more people that will start speaking the language of light more and more. Yeah. You yeah, see, that another uh, uh, adventure happened to me recently. It was in the year, I mean, when I met you, Tony, it was in 2014. And another girl came to me. She was also very psychic and she had the, um, the tool to see everything. And what uh-huh. I missed was too much for her, really, because multidimensionally, she was so connected, she could see everything behind me, she could see the room full of entities always. So she called me, and uh, because she saw my blog, and she said, oh, I'm so desperate, and she stood with me for seven days in my home. And with her, I got weak, because she had a strong energy, so I got strong um, energies to me, running through me, and it happened that for seven hours, I went straight away with the cosmic code, like language, for seven mm-hmm. hours without stopping. And then another woman came from Germany because then I posted the very first time uh, I came out with the code officially, and I posted it in a place. And so this woman from Germany, she she sent me an email, then she came down to Tuscany. And together we went to the small supermarket where my friends have a small supermarket in the small, small village. Hmm. And suddenly there came in the guy, he was from an Arabic country, and I felt that he was attracted in one way. But I could feel, I mean, because I was so clear, I could understand this was not an attraction like men and women, so hmm. other stuff. And already I, I could talk normally, but then he asked me, can I take a coffee for you? And then the coat came in the supermarket and there were people sitting at the tables because they had also this small um, for lunch. So officially in a supermarket all the coats came up and 
he got an activation and some people they had to leave this place. Also my friends were a little bit embarrassed, but at least there was nothing to do because it came. I had no control. And also this I want to, to share now with everybody. That when there are things coming, they come and you don't have any control on it and you have to accept it. Exactly. Because this, because this is the biggest gift you can have. Because if you if you think you control, you are de- you suppressing everything that wants to come up. So let it out. If maybe very strange things can come up, for sure. But let them let them come up. Let them out. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Exactly. Because, because fear is it, it creates just a it's another block. It's you're limiting yourself. You're limiting your experiences. Yeah. And and, yeah. and basically they are they are wonderful experiences when you leave yourself open to receive it. Yeah. But only yeah. then. True. Yeah. So um, um, do you meet a lot of people who are also uh, having those experiences? You have in in your circle of friends, or do you have, or you you are mainly only meeting them online. Mm-hmm. Now, in in such a way, I didn't I didn't meet nobody now in my life. But uh, yeah, a, a awakening process also with a friend of mine. Uh, she had two uh, babies at that time, and when I went to her, always she got activated, always, always, and then she felt starting sick. And I remember one once the time I was there and she got the activation through her spine. I had to go home, leave her alone, and then she called me, Oh, I'm lying on the floor, I cannot get even up. <laughs> so the whole spine that was completely activated and then the husband took her to the hospital and they gave her some stuff, you know, but it didn't even work. So she had to be stay in the bed for a at least one week she could do nothing and I, it was, I mean, I remember her and still I remember now she's moving back to Germany, she has these two kids, now they are, they are nine, year, nine years old, but she's still going ahead with the process of awakening and also her, she has a lot of uncommon thoughts in her body. Mm-hmm. And even this German lady, uh, she is a really, really great, great, great star, she is a light worker and a lot of a lot of pain, a lot of, but she's going to the doctor, you know, showing him book of the light body activation. Because this is the kind of courage. She is one who is not doesn't hesitate to show public in, in, in public places like at the doctors and at banks, you know. Mm-hmm. Every place you have to touch or they say, Yeah, but this, this is the point. Sure, have a look. Mm-hmm. This is great. Yeah, because most of the time people would hide or or you know, they would just not open up and dare to say it, whatever there is on their mind, and, uh, and it's, it's very important that we are true to ourselves, and in every moment, yeah. any time, any place, with anyone, and yeah. more and more, you know, during the awakening process, we're all clearing off all the distortion uh, yeah. that we were carrying with us, even certain, let's say, uh, being so... Um, concerned about other people all the time and all this stuff. I mean, I I went through a lot of personality changes after the walk-in experience, and it, it was like I was, you know, I even had that that okay, there is this change, but but I mean, gosh, you know, at times you you maybe you're even um, uncertain that oh my God, I was like such a. a a compassionate person towards other people. It doesn't mean that basically I'm not what I don't I don't feel because you feel. But basically, you get into a, a state of detachment. Eventually, you detach yourself from uh, wanting to save them. Basically, you know that the only way you can. Uh, assist another one in an empowered way and basically this July is about empowered uh, love means uh, you're not helping over sacrificing yourself for one another but rather as an empowered love that you give but to be empowered you have to be in harmony with your, with your truest self of course when you don't know who you are you don't know which one is the true one right uh, but right. this is all about that. It's the integration period, and and once you know you become one, 
with every little particles and fragments that you, you, you know, had, had been broken down and I just uh, spoke about it before, uh, then you know eventually, eventually who you are and who you have to be uh, uh, truth cool and, and loyal to and uh, once you know that you're making more and more empowered choices for yourself because you know when I wanted to you know let me put this way I was never sick but uh, when I wanted to heal because I knew that there was a lot of uh, things that I was carrying on myself from past incarnations and you know other times and all, we all had traumas all kinds of different traumas and to be released you know you're going through but uh, uh, you know at times I, I was like okay I always wanted to save everybody and eventually you just you just learn to detach and once you know that everything is uh, exactly the way it is and basically you only can heal yourself by loving yourself and you know and releasing certain things and then then uh, this whole thing is a lot easier than trying to let's say fix yourself because it's there's nothing to really fix it's re it's more like releasing more like releasing and letting go of things that created uh, the things of course you're digging a lot you know it's like a lot of us have a very uh, good um, um, I don't know just I was always a very strong self-analyzer, but of course, just as much it has an advantage, it also has a disadvantage. So eventually, you get get really caught up in too much analyzing. So then, you know, when you go through the mind, gosh, you know, it's just beyond the mind. When you do not, uh, you do not think anymore in that sense. You start uh, rather feeling because then, you know, you have this integration part when your heart. And your mind is is really, uh, you know, you just you just don't know how to balance it. You don't know how to really, you know, keep it balanced. And and you know, too much thinking, overthinking, can be, you know, uh, can become a problem at times. So, but you you probably went through uh, more like, oh, okay, I just allow, I just I just allow and give in, and and that's yeah. the easy way. Yeah, yeah, because this is all, this is my being. Uh, because I'm very intuitive and very, um, what do you say, emotional. Mm -hmm. And so I don't care. I never cared about others, what they think about me, that is true. So what yeah. happened, happened, you know? And uh, even if there's something to say, and that's okay, I had to say that if, if the people can digest it, okay, if not, who cares? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I know that I'm here to give. To, to, to be myself and myself uh, contain also information, you know. Exactly. And the information, and the information instead of talking about happens then through the code. And that was even better because if I'm talking, I'm still connected to my mind. But the codes mm -hmm. are pure. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. there's no control and, there's, and there's no decodification. And even, and even in the, I mean, um, the other part, I, I want to say now, the dark part, they are working, they worked always against us. They have no power because they cannot decodificate these codes or languages. This is really awesome because you give now information that really is set in another person or worldwide, but it cannot interfere, it cannot be interfered by nobody. No mind control, no nothing, all that stuff doesn't work. That's why, I mean, I, I want to tell you that um, when we had the chat a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. I was really uplifted, really uplifted. And the day after, I went with Tony to our ballroom then, and we were both uplifted, and we came home, and we were here with us, and then suddenly I felt, oh, the codes are coming. So there was a, a, a moment of hesitation because I thought, oh my gosh, now here are the kids. I mean, mm -hmm. but then it started coming through and it became louder and louder and louder. And so it was a, it was really a nice experience. And then the elder son, he came and made a record with his mobile at least. And uh, yeah, it was a really great experience altogether. So what to do? Yeah.
Yeah. But then, exactly, you just have to, like, the other day I had, I was uh, uh, on a short uh, clarity session with someone, and uh, uh, I did not know, I, I did not have any uh, preconceived idea how our little clar clarification session will go, uh, because it's like a 15 minutes, usually it's a, it's a free session I give, uh, you know, prior to, if somebody wants to engage in really working with me and uh, and all of a sudden while he was talking and you know we were talking and I was asking questions all of a sudden uh, you know I just start I had, to, I had to say it I just had to say it and those things came out and I recorded it because afterwards I sent it over to him but he, he listened but you know it was such a great uh, uh, participant because exactly he just knew okay so he's just quiet but uh, my voice was completely different what I was saying then on on previous uh, recordings and and a lot of times when I, I listen back not not this time but for another client when I was type, uh, taping something when I listened back I started crying but not when I said it but when I listened back it was applicable to me just as much as uh, for the client so that is why you know we all get healed in a sense and and really be able to release something uh, while we're listening so it's a wonderful thing do you uh, do you use um, uh, what could you recommend to uh, people to cope with uh, with uh, with their ascension process is there anything that you could say what helped you maybe uh, you know, discern or, or use that makes it easier for them? Yeah, first, first of all, is acceptance. You have to accept. This is the first thing you have to learn. You have to accept yourself in that way. Or if you are in a mood, or if you're getting sick, or whatever, you have to accept everything. Everything. Don't make resistance. Accept. And then let it go. Let it go. It's only a process. Mm -hmm. yeah. it is, it is, really, this is basically the two things you have to learn. Acceptance and then let it go. Accept, let go, accept, let go. Mm -hmm. And so you, you get in even deeper layers and you have to ask, accept. I mean, I was lying down for one for a week at least, all, all my lifetime. I mean, my mom, she took me to the neurologist. They, they said I had a kind of migraine. This was... <laughs> always the activation here in my brain. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got the clue uh, when I had this experience in 2008. Everything was very clear. And also, I, I met a lot of people now, they are having strong headaches. And I mean, I took a lot of pharm pharmacy and nothing didn't even work. This was the sign that it was not um, physical mm -hmm. stuff at least. So, accept you and stay home, be nice with you and um, love you. Just For gentle. You are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just gentle and smooth, and don't don't push you in nothing with nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because really? because at times you know you have the years like you know you, right away you ask the question, oh, what's wrong with me or what's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing You're going wrong. through a cleansing process. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. And this is and afterwards, afterwards, and it was always a hell. Really, it was the hell because lying down for so long and uh, vomiting and whatever and uh, hmm. but then always and I swear always when it was finished it was like the phoenix from the ashes yeah. and I became much more stronger than before and much more powerful and other doors open up always hmm. other gifts were there always so at yeah. least yeah, I had that also, you know, every time I went through something and, and the funny when there are those activations, like I had that, uh, I, I don't know, it's like the springtime, I had an even winter time, but the winter time I had like one day when I went through something and uh, it was like fever and other stuff, but previous yeah. year, you know, also had something previously. And then uh, I had, and that was probably the longest when when just uh, maybe two months ago or something, my, my head was hurting so much. And uh, like for four days or five days I had that. Even my cats were around me. They did not want to leave me alone. And uh, a lot of times they're helping us, animals. 
and uh, yeah. for me it's very calming and um, I just did not want to do anything I just I was just I, in bed and I just I did not care it's just and that is a very important thing to just allowing yourself to rest and uh, and and a lot of people do not allow themselves to go through those processes really in a, in a more um, a calming way uh, but they're really just oh, I have to do something or I have to take something or all that yeah. I stay away personally I stay away from medicine uh, but of course I'm we are not suggesting that uh, people uh, should leave their medicine behind until their level of consciousness uh, is um, uh, actually they are recognizing that that now they can you know no more taking no more medicine but that has to be their choice it's never about another person's choice it always has to come from yourself right. So, right. those are important things so yeah well, um, stay, in bed. stay in bed and rest and be nice with you and then yeah. when you feel good you open up your blinders and you get out and make a nice walk in the nature as I did yes. all the time with my dog and I feel brand new Yes. Brand new. Yes. Well, mm-hmm. like you go out, it's so much better. Yeah, being in nature. That's yeah. really it. It grounds you. I mean, like previously yeah. we talked about that you you have to be grounded too, and every time you go yeah. to nature, it's health helps. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, this is also another recommendation I want to make to the other starkies and whatever. It is the grounding, grounding because. I was close really to lose myself to spacey because this experience made me really um, high and mm-hmm. uh, it put me, uh, I was on a level and uh, that girl I had with me in that famous week when I met Tony, I met you and she told me because she could see that, she said, oh, Marie, you are going, you are going away in two months, you cannot stand here anymore. And I understood what she was meaning because mm. shifting up with the frequency, my, I couldn't even hold my body. Then you mm-hmm. have to leave, right? And I, when I understood that, because I was always keen, always keen. And when it, when when they came with the ships, they took me back. I was crying, crying because. And this is the point. Yes, now I know. This I want to share with you from my heart with every star. Don't allow yourself to. You have to understand. We are here, changing the earth. We are the ones who we are waiting for. Nobody else. Exactly. Right? And exactly. so this is really this is really dangerous. And I know a lot of staff is they get so depressive because everybody wants to leave. Everybody wants to leave because we coming from another experience and we had problems to be grounded and to accept our our body and the matter, right? Because we come from higher realms where we have our only consciousness or have other kinds of forms, they are much more lighter, right? So all my lifetime I always had problems to feel to feel grounded in my body, even to feel my body, right? So and when that happened, then I get my activation. I was close to, I mean, leaving everything. And I understood, no, this is another uh, trap also created from the dark ones, you know, because they they want that we feel like this and that's why it's so important. Stay grounded. Do everything to be grounded and recognize that you have to stay in your body because otherwise, if I was out of my body and it happened on 2008, right? Nobody can see me. How can I do the work? Mm-hmm. I am here in this dress. And this is only my dress because I know that it's my dress. I have other dresses. Simultaneously, and I can take the shape. I know that because I made this experience. But here's important to stay in this dress and take care of it. And take care of it. Love exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. Important. It's important. It's true. So, grounded. Sometimes, you know, go away from the veggies and whatever. Sometimes I feel I have to eat very heavy stuff like mayo mm-hmm. and butter and, and mm-hmm. cream because also exactly. because the nerves. The nervous system, the nervous system gets a little bit screwed because too much frequency is affecting the nervous system. And so your nervous system, the best thing you can do is giving fat, oil, olive oil or whatever. I mean everything. Omega 6 and all that. Yeah, omega 3. And and eating the things 
instead of the light food, make heavy food because we are this. Because we are mixing here with with uh, earthling. I mean, with people they are not from the stars, you know. Because this is my understanding. The star seed mixed up with the earthling because making uplifting our planet because thanks of our memory. But we have to take it here in our body and be the body. That we to I, I have our those body. things when when I need to eat. Uh, let's say uh, I just feel like eating hamburger. I just feel like eating really really uh, heavy stuff. And other yeah. times, you know, I, maybe I'm on, on carrot salad for a week or something. But yeah. when right. I feel like right. eating a really, like, really, really uh, heavy food, uh, it yeah. helps me to ground. That's true. Yeah. But, but also that is our body, our, our intuition tells us what we need. Exactly. Just get out here of your mind and convince, you know, I have to. No, now eat what you want. Eat when you want. It's so funny because even when uh, uh, that was whatever, you know, because there's just so many things, of course. But the one time I was dreaming uh, that uh, uh, I had to, they were they were carrying uh, um, onions uh, sliced up and they were giving it to people and, and they were inviting me to eat the onions. And basically I needed minerals. So I was not eating the, you know, onions. And I mean, I, you know, we have food like that here. But anyway, um, eventually they treated me with uh, three nights. I got uh, um, energetic acupuncture in codes, and also two nights I got the minerals, and min minerals and electrolytes. And and they were treating me with codes the whole night. And so, okay, even if you don't listen to your body in that sense, and okay, you were not doing it, but. Uh, but it was critical because it was a, it was a, a, I was dreaming about a catastrophe, and 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 people were in those jackets and they were giving those things up. So I needed that. It was catastrophic in my body, you know. <laughs> but but eventually, you know, three nights I had this with the with the coach, so they took care of me in that sense. So yeah. of course these are the our galactic friends. <laughs> yeah. And our, yeah. our family. So, um, but these um, these things you have to go through. You have to see these things. You have to experience these things in in order to believe it. And and yeah. and right. if they did not go through it, uh, not yet. Um, you know. But when they are in that uh, process, they immediately open up, and and then they can really. It it just helps them to cope with everything because. Yeah. It's much easier when they know. So, oh, it's beautiful. Well, I don't know. I wanted to see if we have anyone that would ask questions, uh, but uh, no. I I think I wrote that that they could uh, ask questions if there is anybody any questions. Um, maybe not. I think we had. Um, some people maybe it's just too late and they're they're basically um, you know it's just uh, people went home maybe it's late maybe we're gonna schedule a next a uh, next thing or, or if we want to talk about certain things or something will happen and we can give an update uh, another time and that would be our usual time if we want to talk we usually meet like at 6 in the evening for your time and my time is 11 a.m here in Hungary because it's uh, you know it's just uh, easier and anyway these uh, shows are taped so maybe for some people it's easier to see the replay than come to you know to an online event or, and live event uh, because it's it's a late but anyway it it turned out pretty good you know how things happen and um, so we're just going to share this and uh, it's it's gonna be on YouTube so I am. You know, just gonna share it on on a new uh, page, or or you can share it with anybody, so people can listen to it and and hope that uh, they are going to give us some uh, uh, questions under the the YouTube video because it will be uploaded there. And uh, so if they if anybody wants to know or have questions or concerns that they think that we could um, 
um, you know, answer it because we went through so many different things. Uh, we will be happy to answer it, and then we can take that into our next uh, online event. All the, you know, the questions and answer them. So please leave a, a comment under the the video, and we will be glad to, you know, assist you. <laughs> And do you do you want to add anything, Anna Marie? In in let's say, are you working with people uh, who would like to contact you? Uh, well, well, right now you know that I I moved to Australia. Mm -hmm. You know, I I told you that story. And since I left Europe, and here everything is pretty different. Different. It, it seems like, um, I told you, I was now going back to Germany and was there for two months. And of course, all, all my reconnections restart. Mm -hmm. I had my coat sitting there with my parents in the lounge room, etc., etc. And when I came over here, everything stopped. Because here is another frequency, more soft, more soft. And can they, can they not contact you? Maybe over uh, the internet? Do you work yeah, with sure. people? Maybe sure. over Skype? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I am. I am willing to do that. If somebody wants to contact me on Skype or hang out, I will do mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. But for the for this very moment, I don't have the structure. I mean, I have I have different blocks. I have mm -hmm. different blocks in, in English, Italian, and German mm -hmm. because this I did it in advance when I was in Tuscany, and I have this block and. Uh, we will see where I can put them to become more officially, so that people can can contact me. Hmm? Okay, but basically, and, uh, if they basically if they uh, uh, write or make a comment under the uh, YouTube, we will be sharing, yeah. uh, you know, your yeah. contact number or your email where they can yeah. add news and, and whatever. Then yeah. it's up to you how you're gonna arrange it. So, yeah. okay, that's good. And know. maybe. What was coming through me yes. and, uh, yesterday was I want to propose you maybe we can make some some event um, doing codes together and light language together. <laughs> well, who knows? You know what the future brings. <laughs> exactly. Who knows? Exactly what comes through. And uh, it because it would be very powerful. Yeah. Okay. I so it was a great thing. Yeah. And I also wanted to mention that uh, we can get uh, activated by one another. So, like our last meeting was uh, was really very powerful. And uh, uh, I'm I'm kind of a little sorry that we did not take that because it was just so much energy in there, and it was like, wow, you know. So we're probably gonna even. When we're gonna talk, we're gonna have scheduled event instead of just you know just gonna right. act this way because this way we're going to have it taped and uh, you know it's just in the spur of the moment uh, and we just maybe schedule it like five minutes later and then you know we're we're just gonna tape it and uh, and it's gonna perfect. work out for everybody perfectly so you know they can enjoy yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. That's that's nice. Yeah, um, you know, I'm open to everything. <laughs> I'm open to everything. So, well, anyway, thank you for coming and attending thank this so you. early in the morning. So, just yeah. have your coffee. <laughs> yeah, I already had my tea. <laughs> and, and have fun and have a great day. And um, yes. just enjoy the and weekend. Sure. <laughs> you have a wonderful night. Thank you and very talk much. To you. Talk to you soon. Bye, Anna Marie. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh, last thing, Stella. Let's see yes. if we can do it. If we can do the no. Yeah, here. Yes. Wait. Want to make a, a surprise? Wait. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh, it's not possible here, the Google effect. Um, yeah, oh, you mean the funny stuff? Yeah. Uh, I can do a funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so just, you know, crown me and, <laughs> you know, because I'm the administrator, I'm the host. So maybe it's just only possible with the host. And um, yes. I don't know if you can put 
put up something on yourself, you know, like a cat hat. Yeah, wait. Cat hat. Yeah, I have it now. Oh, that is my place. Ah, oh, exactly. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. Maybe even on the beach. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thanks for the surprise. Bye. Have fun. Bye. 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 Bye.